equation that is basically related to the this particular question how fast must a spacecraft travel related to earth for each day on the spacecraft to correspond to two day on earth so in this numerical problem how fast must a spacecraft travel in this statement uh, the question is clear that we have to find out the velocity relative to the earth for each day on the spacecraft each day on the spacecraft the spacecraft is a moving frame and the time uh, on the moving frame is denoted by t naught so one day will be t naught correspond to two day on the earth here earth is a rest frame and time is given two day so from this uh, numerical problem it is very clear that we have to find out v given is t naught that is one day that means 24 hours and t is given the time on the earth that is two day that means 2 into 24 that is equal to 48 hours right so now you can find out the velocity by using the uh, formula t is equal to t naught upon square root 1 minus v square upon c square so here t is also given that is 48 t naught is 24 and this is 1 minus v upon c whole square right so again rearranging the term because we have to find out v so by rearranging the terms uh, this as we have solved earlier the numerical problem is square root 1 minus v upon c whole square is equal to 24 upon 48 and 24 by this 22 times so 1 by 2 so when you will take the square of that right so now is squaring both the side so it becomes 1 minus v upon c whole square is equal to 1 by 2 whole square 24 1 1 and 2 to 48 so 1 by 2 is square of 1 by 2 is equal to 1 by 4 so this is 1 by 4 so now further I have to find out V so rearranging the term V upon C whole square is equal to 1 minus 1 by 4 that is 3 by 4 so you can say that V is equal to a square root 3 by 2 C and a square root 3 you know that is 1.732 so when you will put the value e and simplify and further the value of c then it becomes you know, 2.598 into 10 raised power 8 meter per second or in approximately approximately v is equal to 2.6 into 10 raised power 8 meter per second so these were some uh, basic example related to the uh, time dilation right and I have discussed here uh, some points related to the uh, stationary frame and a moving frame so that uh, phenomena you can see here with this simplest example that the person is standing on the earth and this is a spacecraft right or, or, or I can make uh, it in a proper way by standing this person in this side and coming towards that so this is a moving frame this spacecraft is a moving frame the person is standing on the surface over and uh, the moving cloak is this one right this is moving cloak this cloak is in a spacecraft and uh, here an observer that pilot uh, that noted this time that will be t naught and the time measured by this person 
who is standing on the surface of earth is this one right Th this time difference here yeah, there are two frame of references one is related to the earth second is related to the spacecraft the pilot of this spacecraft is O prime and here this person is an observer O right and it has a globe this one and time so what basically is relationship between the time right because of the relative motion of this spacecraft with respect to this person so that basically explained with the help of the uh, time dilation and I have selected here some basic example to make this idea more clear uh, but if you have any problem related to any numerical prob uh, numerical or conceptual uh, problem you can ask uh, and write that message below this video thanks for watching this particular video